Today we're going to talk about a bunch of new free add-ons from Blender 3.0 and some cool updates for other add-ons that we have seen before. We're going to start off with Bagapai. This is a powerful add-on that can be used for different purposes. We have seen in previous videos what it is capable of. And with this release, it brought with it new features and it is now compatible with Blender 3.0. Now it has a fully integrated IV generator that allows you to grow IV freely wherever you want in the scene. And you can add and remove targets easily. You can also now with the new update add multiple rings with constant offset. In addition, there is instant displays that allows you to control or manipulate the height of a group of objects easily. One interesting feature that was added to this add-on is its ability to scatter objects using node groups. You can also now snap and scatter assets easily using the Bagapi add-on. And what's more interesting is its ability to scatter assets using curves, like scattering plants or trees around certain areas. Next is JSculpt Tools. This is a well-known add-on for sculpting that allows you to do few things within Blender. The recent update brought with it a lot of bug fixes in addition to new features. It is also now compatible with Blender 3.0. Some of the new features include the Extract Mask feature that will allow you to mask an area of your sculpt and use it to extract a new mesh from the area. When you do that, you will set thickness and offset. Another interesting feature is the ability to join objects and remesh them using the Join and Remesh button. And this allows you to proceed to sculpt based on those newly joined meshes. You can also now do retopology work for your sculpt using this add-on. And just like other retopology tools, you can start adding polygons easily around your sculpt to create a low poly version of it. Next is Bygen. Bygen is a free add-on designed to simplify the process of creating non-destructive generative modeling styles in Blender. It also lets us use generative modeling styles on existing geometry. With version 9 of the add-on, it is now available to be used with Blender 3. And with the new support of geometry nodes, you can now take advantage of different types of scattering and displacement. This add-on makes heavy use of the modifier stack to provide various forms of mesh manipulation to let you achieve a variety of geometric effects. Through the use of a simple interface, you can either generate new objects from scratch or apply different styles to pre-existing objects. Next is Grease Pencil from scratch. This add-on was created to do one thing and it is a very good alternative to what you can do using Blender Grease Pencil's native tools. The Grease Pencil in Blender can help you convert meshes into Grease Pencil objects but it is limited when it comes to giving you control of how your edges will look like. The Grease Pencil from scratch add-on comes in and gives you plenty of freedom and control when it comes to this issue. It allows you to make only the outer edge visible, and you can show the subdivisions as you wish, and you can choose the thickness of the lines, their shape, size, and more. Quick UV Checkers This is also a very simple add-on that has one simple function, which is the ability to toggle your checker material on and off. And it also allows you to change the scale of the checker material by selecting and dragging the mouse button to the left and to the right. Next is Few Geometry Nodes Based IV Generator. This add-on is a free geometry nodes based on IV Generator for Blender 3.0. The power of this add-on lies in its ability to surround 3D objects in the scene with IV very fast with no effort whatsoever on your end. It is really good for creating random IV, especially for abandoned places or post-apocalyptic scenes. The next one is Inplacer. This add-on, as the name suggests, was created to help you create in-place animations easily within Blender. You actually need in-place animations in video games, for example, to make characters walk or run, and if you don't, you will see weird animations instead of what you usually see. Blender can actually help you do in-place animations, but this add-on is designed to make it easier and you can do it in few clicks. And the add-on now supports Mixamo and Unreal Engine rigs if you want to use those. If you are interested in the add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.